Now you're a man of Cornette. Yes. Can you show us that? Yeah, and tell sure. us about it. I know it's uh, an original, right? Not a reissue. This is no, an original. No, this is a uh, 59 Epiphone Cornet. I got this probably like 20 years ago and it was fucking... Can I swear? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it was fucking mint condition. It's encouraged actually. Yeah. No, it, it was just like, it was just brand, brand new spanking. And what made you get it? Was it the looks no, or was yeah, it the, I No, yeah, I mean, I, I played Epiphones before. I, okay. I did the Crestwood Custom Deluxes, like the three pickups with yeah. the Batwing head. The, uh, but it were kind of thin necks and, and I always liked the looks of these, but they're really hard to find. So yeah. I mean, it took me a couple of years and then I bought it in Chicago and then I think I, I played every show since really since that. Cause that's that's all, proof. Yeah, yeah, that's proof. It's like I'm almost I'm all, almost through the, the body. Now, uh, were you specifically looking for this one? Because I know the, this is a 59 and the early 59s had this like Weird, weirdo, like single coil pickup where the later runs had the, the more traditional yeah. P90. No, it's, it's, I mean, this is the one that I wanted, uh, which has, uh, I think they only made them in 58 and 59. Yeah, with that specific pickup. Yeah, I think it's it later a, they went to the P90. Yeah, yeah. So, but this is a New Yorker pickup, and um, I think it's just a cool looking guitar. It's pretty much like a telly, but like with reverse. Yeah. Man, it's, it's beat to hell. Yeah. And I imagine it's on all the records too. You no, said you're no, live or no, you don't record The it? thing is that I, I I haven't recorded a bunch of stuff with it because it's always like in the warehouse yeah. with the touring gear and, and then we were supposed to record like I never bring it but uh, I do sometimes. Now I know that you guys have kind of a gear backline set up you know in Europe and yeah, stuff for yeah. Euro America now does this go on all the shows? So, like, yeah, this is no, the, no er, the er, every show. Okay. Yeah. And have you had to do anything to it to you know upgrade the parts Not or change really, anything I, out? Yeah, I, I think I changed frets a few years ago okay. and uh, I was doing a show in in, uh, in London a long time ago, and it kind of got got a crack here. And then, uh, it, I mean, like five years ago, the headstock just split in two. Oh, wow. After like exactly where the watch hit the the neck. Wow. Uh, so I had to glue that back together, but it, I'm, I mean, it it it's, it's, looks it looks okay. Man, yeah. piece of wood and glue, but it's still rocking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think sometimes I mean guitars that has been broken almost sounds better when you glue them back together. Yeah, so for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, I, was say, I wonder why that is. Yeah. And also, the thing that the, the more you play guitar, the better it sounds. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely heard that. Yeah. And I believe that. Yeah. It just gets almost like the sweat. Yeah, yeah. Your DNA gets into the guitar yeah. and it becomes a whole thing. And it's like this is super microphonic, so like whenever you touch anything, it's go boom, boom, boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> now, and the knobs, have you ever had any issues with those knobs? Because they're so no. peculiar. I feel like you could get stuff caught on. No, it. I, I, I love them. Okay. And uh, strings, do you have any specific strings that you go for? I do uh, kind of heavy strings, I think it's 12s, okay. 12, wow. 50, whatever. Yeah, you uh, like fighting it. Yep. Yeah. And these are the, what are they called, the, the new ones, the new Ernie Ball, yeah. the... Slinkies, power slinkies maybe? No, no, no. Paradigm. Oh. Paradigm pa pa what? Paradigm. Yeah. Paradigm. Yep. Yeah. They're really good because I, I I always had a problem fighting strings that will last me through the set without oh. breaking, and it's just like a few a few brands that actually work. And uh, on that question, following up, what do you use for picks? Uh, like Any what? Uh, yeah, I used to. We usually have the custom picks, but I run out. But but I do uh, the Dunlop picks, the Tortex, okay, one fourteenth. Oh, so heavy picks or he too. or heavier, yeah. Oh wow. But yeah, one fourteenth. So that's heavy why picks, I, that's strings. why I dig a hole in the fucking guitar. <laughs> yeah.